artificial intelligence. It's coming to take our jobs, right? They took our job! Or maybe it's going to do something even worse. But it's wrong to think about AI in terms of being a friend or an enemy. After all, it's not like it's conscious. Right? I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. The best way to think about AI that it's a tool. It's like a hammer or a horse or a computer. If we use it properly, it makes us better at our jobs. And these days, you're not using AI at all. Then you're probably falling behind. I know, I know. You've already watched a bunch of those five amazing AI tools you need to use today videos, but why should you spend your time watching this one? Well, I'm a real UX designer that works with clients every single day. The double diamond lives rent free in my head. And I've started using these AI tools in my own workflow to get faster, more efficient and more creative. My name is Dennis and here are free AI tools every UX designer should be using right now. Just a quick note before we get started, I'm not getting any money from any of these companies. I just really like them and think you might too as well. Let's start with the first part of the diamond, the discovery stage. This is the initial research phase where we first learn about the problem we've been given and the best way to solve it. Usually the discovery stage requires us to do user research or market research. There are two types of mistakes designers make here. The first and most common is they jump right ahead to the next stage. After all, how complicated can it be? This is how I used to think. The clients ask for an app and I'll just go to design the app and show it to them. It's simple, right? I was just so excited actually to do design work that I didn't slow down and do it properly. The second mistake which happens sometimes is that people get booked down and never get out of the discovery stage. They're either always talking to the client or the end user or doing some research. As you probably guessed, the discovery stage can take up a lot of time. If it's a big project, it kind of should take a while. But our clients usually don't have the luxury of time. So there's usually a gap, lots to do, not so much time to do it. This is exactly the kind of situation where AI comes in handy. When I encounter this problem in my work, I often use Quoquo. One of the things which separates big design companies and small studios or even solo designers like you and me is the amount of resources big companies have to do research and generate user personas. Quoquo helps bridge this gap. It's a Figma plugin powered by OpenAI that lets you easily generate personas, user journeys, and even chat with your persona to ask them specific questions. Coco saves me time during the discovery stage so I can understand the client's problem and move on to the next stage of the project as quickly as possible. Now, Coco isn't a replacement for the discovery stage. It doesn't do real user interviews or client meetings, how can it? It's just a Figma plugin, for God's sake. But it reminds me of those racing games like Mario Kart, where if you press the button at exactly the right time, you can get a boost at the start. Coco is like that, a boost. If the discovery stage is where you gather your ingredients, then the definition stage is where you write the recipe. By now, you should have plenty of information from your personas, your research and the client interviews, but there's a thing as too much information. Because if you can't easily filter it into usable insights, then you can easily get overwhelmed. There's a big difference between raw information and the actual insight that helps you build a better product. Getting from information to insights is hard. It doesn't need to be. I started using user evaluation to help me. This thing is really cool. Now, what you'll do is upload your recording or connect your Zoom account for the best and it will do the rest. Transcribe, clips, reports, presentations, all with just a couple of clicks. You can get the exact things a user has said, collect them into buckets and then even get the program to write a summary of all the clips. My blog. It means less time spent doing annoying admin work and more time learning what clients and customer needs. Okay, 
So we've actually arrived to the best part of the diamond, which I actually love, development stage. By the way, I found this part kind of funny. It's where we actually do the design work. I know it's just one part of our job as designer, but it's a pretty big and integral part. Anyway, I don't really have to tell you what the development stage looks like, as if you're a UX designer, you work with wireframes, and if you use wireframes, then you know how much time they actually take to spend and create those components over and over and over again. That's where a really like tool like Reloom comes in handy. With Reloom, you can add a prompt when you help create sitemaps and even entire wireframes. And then afterwards, you can move it directly to Figma for further editing. It's a great example of how good AI tool can save time and actually enhance your work. If you're watching this video, then you've probably looked around for AI tools that can help you make beautiful UIs. Well, there isn't one, sadly. Believe me, I've looked and asked people in the industry. There are some okay ones like uh, User and some other tools like Framer and Webflow do some generation of UI, but I find them a useful way to generating ideas, but they're nowhere near to the level of a professional designer. And as for genius, we'll just have to wait and see. But you know what? I think that that's good news. Humans still matter. AI already excels at organizational tasks like creating transcript and assets recycling, but it can't replace the creativity of a good UX designer who's passionate about delivering results for their clients. And now our train arrives at the fourth and final phase of the double diamond, the delivery stage. This is where we take the ideas we've picked up from the development stage and test them to see how they look in a real environment. The delivery stage is kind of two stages in one. First, we select the most promising concept based on the work we've already done, and then we test them until we have something to deliver to the client. In my experience, the delivery stage phase is the most AI proof phase of the double diamond process because it requires so much human intuition and interaction. AI can help generate concepts but we have to select the best ones. And AI can help you test it but you can tell you what success looks like. And finally, AI can't explain your process to your client or show how it actually works. We have to do it. So to be perfectly honest, I haven't found any AI tools that help me during the delivery phase. But look, I'm a generous guy. I won't let you finish watching this video without a few more recommendations. So there are free AI tools you can use in addition to Coco, User Evaluation and Reloom. The first one is Midjourney. <laughs> How original, right? But Midjourney has become an important part of the design stack. It's just so cool. I don't use the outputs in my work, but the images are great for helping me come up with ideas. Webflow's AI assistant makes an already amazing platform even better, and so does Magician, the AI design tool for Figma. AI is really exciting, but also kind of scary, to be honest. Every time I use an AI tool, I wonder if I'm helping it train it, or so it's the next one that takes my job. But the reality is, right now we are in a sweet spot where AI tools can help us, but they can't replace us. They're powerful, but at the end of the day, humans still orchestrate the creative process. I don't know how long this still lasts, maybe 5 years, maybe 10, who knows, maybe just one. But we can't ignore AI, it's coming, in fact, it's already here. And tools like Quoco, User Evaluation, Reloom can make a UX designer even better and deliver better products to our clients. Now, if you've liked this video, you should check out my videos on how to take an app from an idea all the way to the App Store. See you next week. Until then, I've been Dennis. It's been a pleasure. Peace.